Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump right on into the video. First, we're gonna start with a base coat to protect our natural nails from the nail polish we put over top and to help our manicure last as long as possible. For the first Flintstones character, we'll be doing a minimal version of Betty Rubble's outfit. For this, I'm using a sky blue nail polish and I'm painting a triangle over one half of my nail with the bottom of the triangle over the tip or free edge of my nail and then I'm gonna fill that in. And depending on the nail polish you're using, you might need to go over this shape a couple times just to get the color nice and opaque. And for Betty's necklace, I'll be using a black polish with a striping brush and creating the outline of a triangle and then adding a dot of white to the point of it. And that's it for Betty's outfit. I'm gonna finish with a top coat. You can leave it shiny and glossy like this, or you can always add a matte top coat, which is what I'm gonna do at the end of this video. Next up, I'll be doing Barney's outfit. And for this, I'm going to start with a brown shade of polish. And again, I'm using my striping brush to create some outlines of the shape that I'm gonna fill in with the polish. For his outfit, he's wearing sort of a tunic with a V-neck. So I simulated that by creating a V-shape in the middle of my nail and then I flatten that off on the sides and then I'm just gonna go back in with the polish directly the brush that comes with the polish and fill that shape in and then once that dries I'm going to grab a dotting tool and black polish and create two sets of dots two on each side of the v-neck and then I'm gonna connect them with an X to create the ties on his outfit Give that some time to dry so your polish doesn't smear and then finish with a nice generous layer of top coat. Moving along, we're going to be doing Fred Flintstone's outfit. And of course, I'll be using an orange shade of polish to do this. And just like the last design for Barney's outfit, I will be cutting out the shape of his top or tunic, but for this one, I'm not using the detail brush, I'm just using the straight edge of the polish's brush. And I'm creating more of a deep V cutout. Once the orange layer has dried, I'm gonna be going back in with some black and creating detail. On Fred's outfit, he has some triangles spotted on it. For this, I wanted to keep it minimal, so I only created three triangles. And a little trick, if you're not super good at freehanding shapes, don't worry about it. You can always go back in with your base color and sharpen up the edges. So it makes it look like you tried a lot harder than you did, and it's a lot easier than trying to get it perfect the first time. And then for Fred's bow tie, I'm using that sky blue polish that we used for Betty's outfit. And I'm outlining the V shape of his top and I added a single stripe down the middle just to keep it minimal. It's not exactly how Fred's tie actually is, but I thought it looked really good. Moving along, we'll be doing Wilma's outfit, and this one's definitely the easiest. Wilma's dress only covers one shoulder, so to emulate this, I created a swooping angle, and then I filled in the nail underneath that with white nail polish. And for her necklace, I'm using a dotting tool and just creating a U-shape of dots. Like I said, this is the easiest by far. Seal in the design with your top coat of choice, and that's it. And last but not least, we'll be finishing with a design inspired by Dino. For this, I'm using a magenta purple polish and applying two coats of that and letting it totally dry. Then with a detail brush and black nail polish, I'm creating some irregular shapes on the side of my nail. Dino's spots are on his back and I thought to copy that, I would just do these spots on one side of my nail and I really like how it turned out. I'm also adding different sized dots among the other ones and some even tiny ones in between to fill in the spaces. I finished with some matte top coat to really enhance the colors and to give it a smooth texture. And then I went ahead and applied matte to the rest of the designs so that they all matched. And there you have five minimal designs inspired by the Flintstones characters and their outfits. 
If you'd like to watch more Cute Polish videos, you can click on these boxes here and click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here. See you next time!